Nation is, is syndicalist? Well, I mean, not technically a radical socialist, but... Yeah, no, they're in the Internationale. Which, again, I didn't know that could happen. I thought you had to split them up into different countries. Apparently not. Apparently not. Okay, Beer Federation to any international. We'll probably see this become another front line for Portugal. Or against Portugal, I should say. Now redeploying. I guess this naval invasion doesn't really mean anything anymore. I mean, I'm, I'm proud of the Ottomans for keeping them distracted for a bit. You wouldn't have been able to do that without you. Russia's declared actually war on the Ottomans. Well, that sucks for you, but it has, doesn't affect me at all. I fall to Constantinople. Probably because the Ottomans are spending all their troops trying to, uh... Huh, well... Let's build more military factories in Ethiopia proper. I mean, how many troops have we killed? We've lost 23,000 men. We have killed 150. We've actually... How... Ha this entire war, the Ottomans have only killed 21,000 Egyptians? Wow. That's, uh... Honestly, almost impressive how pathetic that is. Tyros were 20 victory points. The city will fall to us in mere moments. Is that enough for Egypt to be dead? Yes, it is. So all of Egypt, let's be honest, is mine. Serenacea will also be mine. And Yemen, I think, will also be mine. The other territory, I think, is okay going to the... Um, to the Ottomans, even though it's all going to go hand out, end up in Russian hands very soon. And I would say that is a pretty impressive Ethiopia. If I do say so myself. Fate of Yemen. Liberate Yemen as an independent country. We're just spreading democracy to the Middle East, okay? That's what we're doing. Let's liberate both Egypt and Sudan. We'll liberate Tunisia. However, it, it we saw the um the, the war against you know the Ottomans against the Russians. We're like, oh, you know that's pretty bad. So just we just so happen, you know what? Yeah, we could just attack the Ottomans. We're not aggression pack with them. I'm just going to take this two, these two territories, give them the Serenacea. Yeah, I mean, I can't cancel non-aggression pack until January of next year. So we're, let's just say we're reclaiming this region as our own. Return Egyptian lands, return Yemeni lands. They can have all the lands themselves. Keep those vital states. Yes, Ethiopia needs to be in charge of Suez. It, it, it's a vital... Uh, military interest. I mean, I guess I could just allow Diplo to invade them. Mobilize the Suez Canal. Ah, fine. We'll give it to the Egyptian. Congratulations, Egypt. Apparently, you're still in charge here. I mean, how much troops do the Ottomans have? 23 to 95, but I mean... Okay, apparently Carl Romain has been assassinated by the Iron Guard. Allow Diplo. Uh, I guess this territory we're just going to give to Yemen as well. Yeah, screw it, yeah. Why not? I mean, we have... We're not going to be doing anything else this campaign, really. Turn allow Diplo off. Oh, 
all Egypt into the war. And let's just start moving our troops through. Look, we can't allow the Russians, who with, the, with their authoritarianism, to take control of the Middle East. We need Ethiopian democracy in the Middle East. But I, I will sign on to question back the Russians. I think that seems okay. I mean, we already have enough war, uh, war support, but, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll do what we can. The Ottomans have 100... How many men? They have 118. I mean, they're fighting against uh, way more units than they can, they, they can actually deal with. You delete your plans. You're going to march your way into Yemen now. You guys don't have any more troops that can actually benefit us, unfortunately. In the first elections. For the first time in Ethiopians, grand history, democratic and fair elections will take place. Main target participants in the elections are the right-wing Democratic League, the center-right United Ethiopian Democratic Forces, the center-left Coalition of Unity and Democracy, and the left-wing Ethiopians People Democratic Front. The ballots have been counted, and who has won the election? Do you know what? The election is actually going to be taking place in Twitch chat. Who wins the 1940 Ethiopian election? So we got the Democratic League, United Ethiopian Democratic Forces, the Coalition of Unity and Democracy, and the Ethiopian People Democratic Front. The votes will be one minute long. Who's going to win the election of, uh, of 1940? I mean, there's a lot, of Ethi a lot of Ottoman troops on our border right now, which is a little scary, you know, don't get me wrong. But, I mean, when you look at how many other people are just kind of out and about, I mean, like, look how... I mean, actually, let's, let's send an attaché. We don't have political power to do that. Remember, you can vote in... I don't know how the voting actually works. Because who's currently in charge? Right now, the Democratic League is currently in charge of the country. Election. There's, you know, it's, it's a heated race right now. The heated race. But it looks like... In the end... Oh... Election, the election's coming through. The EPDF has won the elections. So congratulations to the EPDF. They've won the heart and soul of Twitch chat. And they are, yeah, they're just a social democrat. So congratulations to them. With 42% of the votes. But the Democratic League came in in a very close second place. 40% of the vote. Are you core territory? No, you're occupied states right now. Iron Guard has achieved total control in Romania. Muscats and Cons of the War. I mean, Yemen is not really doing anything. So I guess we'll, let's, occupy, let's pacify um, this territory in Ethiopia. I, think, I want you guys to actually be a little bit cautious. I don't want you to be too aggressive. Right now, we're at 50%. They capitulate at 0%. I guess because they still technically have... Because they, they have Ottoman Rejuvenation. Um, but that only applies to countries... And we're neither... We're not... We're, me and Raj are none of the countries on this list. So they don't actually get any benefits or penalties against us. I guess mostly benefits. Okay, India is now declared war on the party commune. Yeah, and Russia is doing a completely A-OK -okay job against the, uh, against the Ottomans here. We got one Egyptian troop has decided to join the front lines. I mean, once Azerbaijan's dead, because, I mean, they have 3 to 23. Russia has probably like 200 divisions. Okay, where's cores here actually begin? We got some cores here. You actually have co no, these are colony states. 
Colony State down there. Your core. So it seems like basically right here is the core territory of the Ottoman Empire. This stuff down here doesn't really matter as much. Okay, Liberia is clear war on the French. Why? I don't really know. They're national populist. American Civil War is still going on. The CSA looks like they're starting to probably lose. And the British have landed troops in Algeria. We'll see how that goes for them. Again, we're just defending democracy. I've, I mean, you're also democratic, but you're going to lose to the Russians. So, you know, that age is what it is. It is what it is. Ankara has fallen to Russian forces. The thing is, we do got to get you down to 0% because technically... Persian Subline Ottoman Federation have ended our hostilities. And apparently, I've also ended my hostilities. Have I, though? Because I don't think I have, actually. I'm going to tell you right now, I have not ended my hostilities against you. Apparently, I think all our troops are getting pushed back to Addis Ababa. Huh. Because Hejaz now owns all this. Iraq owns all this. I mean, how many troops do you guys have? We don't know. Okay, all the blue line. I'm back to this border. All you back into this war. Are you strategically redeploying? No, because you can't strategically redeploy in Ethiopia. Well then. I guess a rock. Hejaz now exists. Persia is holding on decently enough. But I mean... How much land do you guys have? I mean, are you guys coarse? No. I think Russia is probably going to end up losing soon. Because now that technically the um, the war in the desert is over. Yeah, and you're now 10%. No longer 0%. Portugal's capitulated. Again, once they walk into Sudan, they will they can strategically redeploy again. Units exiled. Okay. Ethiopian or Egyptian forces are holding the Suez. Okay, so we gotta go all the way out, up and around, huh? Can you not just go to like a port? Yeah, let's go to a port province. That, that That's going to be more efficient, I would think. Need this plan. And all of you are going to go to Basra and then take a port, uh, take the boat to Alexandria. We did get another core province. And you know what, let's develop air trade, yeah? Yeah, Algeria has fallen. Britain now controls all this land. Did I not try to make you into a puppet state? Triple Atania, go back to here. Actually, maybe I'll just annex all this land. And we can probably release the whole thing underneath uh, a different tag. Okay, so it looks like the French Republic is just dead. You know, we nice to know you. We should get a pop-up in a second about uh releasing Libya or something to that effect. Our 
forces are on their way. And all you guys are just going to push your way up north. And basically just attack as soon as you get there. I don't think the Ottomans have that many troops to really stop us. If they take Adana, Aleppo is core, Damascus is not. So we probably got to get our way up to uh, Aleppo at the very least. I mean, the Ottomans right now have 44%. They're close to wanting to die, but they're not quite there yet. What do we, do we need anything? We have 55,000 guns. You know what? It's probably time for us to start building aircraft. Get some organization first, and then begin to assault Ottoman positions. Then we'll call in all of our puppets. Is Muscat still a puppet of the Ottomans? No, but they're just at war with the Russians anyways. Okay. okay liberate a United Libya. There we go. And we can see the French and the British are starting to kind of make these into independent communes. Yes, but it's all part of the international right now. Moscow and Paris don't seem like they're really in any um, mood to fight each other. I mean, there's no way they can beat the Entente. I don't think the Entente is going to fall anytime soon. But they need to invade into Canada, and they need to invade to the German. Germany will, could probably fall relatively easily, honestly. Okay, Persia has annexed a majority of Azerbaijan. Russia got this one province. They actually can't reach because it's on the other side of a mountain range. Will the Russians invade Persia? I think they have the opportunity to do so. I think they do a cost of belly against them. But I'm not too sure if they'll actually push it or not. Yeah, 42%. Adana is worth 8. Aleppo is worth 8. I mean, how many troops do the Ottomans have? 44 to 95 still. Got some reinforcements making their way up and around. I'm pretty an elevation from like Alexandria at the Beirut. To me, that seems uh, reasonable. Union of Upper Volta's capitulated. Probably the Germany's trying to push her way into Africa now. Gambia, Union of Gambia. Is France totalist? No, but all the countries that are releasing are totalist. Or is Britain totalist? No, yeah, Britain is totalist. Okay. Okay, there's a lot of Ottoman troops down here. I'm guessing it looks like probably Russia has, yeah, Russia has nail superiority over here. Where's our, where's our units here for this nail invasion? They are, okay, no, they're right there. They're, they're almost where they need to be. Okay, so just do a nail invasion whenever you can. Well, push away into the map. That's just, no, they're, they're not a core. And Uruguay has finally fallen. I'm surprised it actually took them that long to kill Uruguay, of all people. Uh, let's follow this with 1942 support weapon tech. That seems okay. Okay, 
Okay, Beirut has fallen. Let's move our way up towards Aleppo. Taking out this position. You guys are holding on just fine. I mean, Russia is doing good work in Anatolia. There's no doubt about that. Greece is still fighting their um, revolution here. Albania did fall to the normal Greeks. I mean, they're holding out, you know, a lot better than I would have originally expected. Okay, so we've taken over Lebanon. Move units up north. Move these guys. You're the Sudanese um, rebels. I mean, is Holmes a core? No. These guys down here are now trapped. They shouldn't have any supplies. We can kill them off, I think, relatively easily. And you know what? Probably now is going to be a good time to start getting some military reforms. After we have crushed all of our historic rivals. I mean, these Somalian troops here are going to die, but you know what? That's the price we pay. That's just the price we pay. Right now, you guys are at 28%. Okay, you're the Subline Federation. It's an extra 10%. Okay, looks like the Russians are taking Aleppo. Give me military access so my guy actually has supplies. And retreat your way into Aleppo. We've saved him. Let's move our way into Damascus. I don't think this makes any difference because it is not a core territory. But I mean, it should still basically be fine. Chad has capitulated. But I mean, the Iberian Federation has landed troops into uh, Angola. You're not part of any faction. You're just kind of chilling out. I mean, will the international be able to invade their way into Canada? Probably not, right? You know, like, Africa is one thing, but in invading halfway across the world is definitely another. Yeah, so that 14%, under normal circumstances, they would have already capitulated. Let's move our way to this city here. So oh, sorry, Auburn Empire. It's just, that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Oh, wait, did they capitulate? Maybe? No. I don't know what happened. And right now they're at 12%. They're close to wanting to give up. And yeah, we see Russians have landed back in the south. Yeah, Yugoslavia now exists. Hello, Yugoslavia. Also, I like how France just owns this part of, uh, just owns this part of Norway. I mean, wait, the AI, the International actually did invade. They actually got, they actually landed troops in New Brunswick. Holy hell. Unprecedented. You know what? I'm going to send an attache to the British. They will not accept. I just want to see what you guys are doing. Can I send an attache to you? You will not accept. I can send an attache probably to the Russians. Because we're both at war with the Ottomans. Very interesting. Very interesting. I mean, the Canadians have 40 to 97 divisions. Let's research out excavation one. Why not?
I guess you know what? At this point, we'll just turn off. We'll just turn off the fog of war. Ottomans. Okay, so how's it gonna get split up? Well, I am going to take the south. Basically, everything here to Aleppo, because that's what we took the first time before the game was like, nah, we're gonna wipe PCU out for no reason. So that will be my territory. I think the rest honestly can just go to uh, Russia. I think that seems more than fair. Bit of Levant. Let's release Syria. Hello, Syria. Welcome, welcome. And divisions here. We got more. Wait, we got a ton of international forces moving into the country. New York City has fallen. I mean, the CSA is still alive. Venezuela's going to war on the Entente. And they're pushing away into here as well. To mobilize the economy. Unfortunately, we can't just, like, make a faction. Which I thought would be kind of cool. Okay, well. Yeah, I'm something... Uh, more than a little surprised that uh they actually managed to land those troops i didn't think it would happen anyway while we're in the neighborhood you know what you know while we're here we might as well go to mecca as well All you to arms, and then all of you basically just invade your way south. More than okay. You should also join the war. And you're also, Oman is still technically at war with the Russians. Um, I don't know how long it's going to last. Maybe just forever. And somehow the social are actually still fighting on. I don't know how they're, uh... They're doing better than you would expect. Turkey has now been released by the uh, Russians. Armenia got some land. Georgia still is independent. They're not actually part of a faction. I mean, technically, we're not part of a faction either. Yes, yeah, so you guys are just basically going to march your way into uh, Medina. You march your way here. You march your way here. You should be on very aggressive, by the way. A rock, I don't think we care too much about that. Apparently, they actually have social agitation. Can a rock go syndicalist? I don't actually know. Maybe. The Russians did land troops into Muscat, so... No, they are basically dead. Portugal, you see, they're sending them some troops. Right, some land some troops down here. Yeah, Britain actually took over the entirety of the West Indies Federation as well. And France has land troops in New England. Very strange. Very strange. I mean, it's not that strange. Like, that's what you, uh... You would expect the AI to do. But, like, it happens so rarely that when it does happen, you're just like, whoa. I didn't see that one coming. We do a lot of political powers. Anything we want to spend it on? Uh, why not public support and some freedoms? Congratulations to you guys. Hejaz is dead. Just take all the states. I just wanted all of my territory to at least be contiguous. We now have complete control over the Red Sea. State of Arabia. Liberate a loyal Arabia. There we go. Fantastic. You are now social democratic. Russia declared war on Armenia. Okay, well, you know, Armenia, you, you can't win them all, Armenia. I apologize. 
Oh, the fate of the Trucial State. Why would I ever give it to release the Trucial States? No, just give it, just incorporate them into Arabia. Why would I ever want to give it to Persia? Persia's not in my faction. It makes no sense for me to want to give them anything. Some more troops over here. Costa Rica's capitulated. Well, anyways, I think that's going to be a good time, basically, for us to end the uh, campaign for now. And, I mean, just in general, like, the campaign's over. We're going to be ending the stream as well, because I do got to go to work very soon. Um, but one thing, I'm, I'm curious, because I think it'll also be a little funny. We are going to save. So, I mean, we actually had a pretty successful Ethiopia run. I think that went okay. But what I'm going to do, because I think it'll be a little funny, is if we... Um, focus dot auto complete. Focus dot no checks. And I'm curious if we take this event right now. Uh, you feel your Germans? Oh, okay. So apparently, maybe what decisions you choose depend on whether or not you're going to get guaranteed or not. I thought we'd actually just join the, um... Actually, probably because Germany doesn't exist. We can't get... We can't join their faction. Which is a little... Sh a little bit of a shame. Can I, like, create a faction? No. Unfortunately not. Because forces, subject autonomy. Apparently, Russia likes the law. Why do you like me so much? Military access and ideology. But I mean, this is our little alliance right now, led by the Lion of Ethiopia. But for now, thanks everyone for watching the stream. Tomorrow we'll be streaming uh, some more, of course. We're going to be playing, I think, some...